landscape. Important lesson when you're doing stuff like this in these places. A rule I always follow is always walk in the footsteps of your guide. Uh, they never fall through the ice. If you decide to walk a metre to the right or a metre to the left, you always will. Keeping pace with them is quite tricky over some of this terrain, but we get in there and we've seen some great stuff. We just had a white tailed eagle fly over. Sadly, I didn't get any pictures because. I was too busy just enjoying it. Um, that is something you've got to do every so often. We've just spent about an hour photographing a group of nearly 13 or 14 wild boar um, right out in the open in the snow here. There's one just moving across up there. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, the pictures are brilliant and in the snow everything just came together. I mean my hands are frozen. Um, we're so lucky. We've just come down to where the um, boar were um, and as you can see they've all been rooting around um, here on the ground. We've just come across from where we um, saw the boar and we're just here. You can see these prints um, and it's two wolf gone down here. Um, a moose went across the back. Um, we saw lynx prints yesterday so this really is just a wild place full of incredible creatures. Um, mitten crossed We'll uh, find, find one later, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we're pushing our luck with wild boar today, so just to see the prints is good enough for me. We've uh, just got back to the car after walking off where we saw the wild boar. Um, and obviously in a cold climate like this, it's really important that when you bring your camera back, take it in the warm too quickly, you get a lot of condensation. So what I've done is, see my down jacket here, I've just got it inside, cinched down so that it warms up slowly rather than rapidly um, because I don't want to get internal fog. I'm soaking wet, um, absolutely saturated, mitts are wet, but what a brilliant day, what a brilliant morning. It's made the whole trip worth it already and I've only been here two days. Fingers crossed, wait, mitts crossed, that the rest of the trip will just be as good. The images of boar were taken on my Nikon D810 with a 300mm 2.8 with a 1.4 teleconverter, shot on my Gitto 3 series and Wimberley head to keep it stable. When working with boar, as they're particularly elusive, it's very important to stay downwind in order not to let your scent drift over to them and keep your outline low to the ground in order to not be that visible.